Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Meditations. We're your hosts, Father Mark Maxson and Cheryl Sarkeesian. Today, on Thursday of the second week of Easter, we celebrate the Easter, continue to celebrate the Easter tradition, you know, of allowing Christ's presence and showing us where Christ is entering into our lives. Let us begin, though, with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of mercy, may the Easter mystery we celebrate be effective throughout all our lives. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We continue in John chapter 3, and where we, the discourse between, and dialogue between Nicodemus and Jesus has is, is come to a, a, a teachings of, of Jesus. And this fourth, uh, John's Gospel presents a developed a deeper theological teaching about who Jesus Christ is. This passage teaches the importance of believing in God's Son sent into this world. And so we read from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 3, verses 31 through 36. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Skipping over a controversy with John the Baptist is in, in chapter 3, verses 22 to 30. Today's reading present the final verses in chapter 3, offering us a summary of these main themes of this chapter. All the verse has parallels to early Nicodemus' um, discourse. There is, there is variance, and a similar variant can seem uh, in chapters 12, 45, uh, 44 through 50, later on in John. But this, this idea of the summary has three things that stand out. The first is the authority of Jesus and his relationship to the Father. Jesus come from heaven. He is above all. And there is a sharp distinction between above and below, heaven and earth. He is sent from the Father out of love, to speak the words of God. The second theme is the acceptance or rejection of Jesus. He comes to give witness, to testify what he has seen and heard, because he is from God, he is from above. Jesus knows what he is talking about, and therefore we should give credence to his, to his word. Through our believing in him, we thus accept and give him his give him our faith in his testimony. The third theme is the consequences of acceptance or rejection. Whoever believes have eternal life and receives the Spirit, which is given abundantly, a grace, a gift, not rationed out, but given freely. Whoever does not believe remains in death. Thus the human destiny hinges on what God has done in Christ and our response to that. Another theme I, I think is important is the concept of, of the presence of the Holy Spirit in this. Uh, it, it endorses the idea of the gratuity of God's power and support through the Spirit. God does not limit His grace. In other words, grace is given to all freely. But with the gift comes responsibility. That is the responsibility to live the Word. Proclaim the word in life and in actions, in deed. Sometimes the responsibility may appear too hard. At these times, especially, we may pray for courage to accept the gift and to continue to follow in the footprints of Christ. But that is, that's where we accept, you know, and that's where we believe. You know, we receive the, the Spirit and the power and presence of Jesus in our lives. How do you, how do you think, think and see that this 
these, these themes or this idea uh, mm -hmm. of Christ and, and his, his word and his mission and, and this idea of, uh, at the end of John's chapter 3. Well, I think it, it, it talks a lot about this revelation, this self-revelation of God. And, of course, the most perfect self-revelation of God was in the person of Jesus Christ. And so when we, we, we have this, take the time to ponder and listen and, and take in all that Jesus has said, then we immediately have this connection with who God the Father is. And so he's not a, a, a father that wants to punish us and trip us up so that he can, you know, send us to our room metaphorically to punish us. But he wants to, to give us all of himself because he gave all of himself to his son. And he wants to, for us to receive that as well. Mm -hmm. And so he's saying, this is who I am. This is who I reveal myself. And this is how, what I have to give to you. Do you want it? Indeed, I, this is, I think, you, you have yeah. one of the key notes about this, this concept of John in, in writing in this chapter 3. It's about the revelation, mm -hmm. revelation of God. And, of mm -hmm. course, you know, the whole idea of our faith is uh, we believe in revelation, mm -hmm. you know, in a sense of it's it just not the, the context of, you know, ordinary proof mm -hmm. of the world around us. No, this is re the revealed word of God right. leading us into a greater understanding. And then also in that terms of revelation, we, we were able to see through the testimony of Jesus that this concept of the father and son relationship, and, and, and that is the concept of Johannine mm -hmm. revelation. Mm -hmm. you know, it's that re God's relationship with the son and the son's relationship with the father you know, are now vested wholly, as you're saying, in mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And it's confirmed by either or, or the alter uh, set of alternatives in, in verses 36. Belief in the Son means eternal life already. The disobedience cuts off one from life and said, mm -hmm. you know, incurs the, the idea of the, uh, right. the wrath of God. In other words, it's the acceptance of a new way of life, of what mm -hmm. God has given us in the new covenant, mm -hmm. and the new promise of, of new life. Yes. Well, more so, I think it, it's more of where God is leading us, right. you know, where God is showing us what is, you know, through the revealed word, that, that Christ gives us, a, you know, where our human destiny, you know, mm -hmm. belongs. Right. And that is, that is within, you know, and, God's ways. And Jesus' testimony is that God is trustworthy. And when we take the time to ponder what that might mean, then we should be able to say, no matter what comes my way in my walk of life, that I can trust that God is taking care of me. He's mm -hmm. giving me what I need to get through this because he gave all that he had to his son. His son gives me all that he has, especially within the sacraments of the church, and I am not walking this alone. Yeah, it, it, and it points to the fact of, you know, Christ is present in our mm -hmm. life. As, as we, right. we read in these Easter readings, you know, the mm -hmm. encounter with Christ. Mm -hmm. Just like uh, last week's uh, readings where, you know, all this... In, in terms of the, the encounter of the real person, of the resurrected Jesus. And here Nicodemus is encountering, mm -hmm. you know, all that slowly because right. he has to, you know, get out of the darkness, get into the light of, of understanding and, re, and revelation. But here, and then, and then the power of the presence of the, the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. to help us and guide us along. This is, is what Christ is talking about. It's an advocate. And I think yes. that's this idea of this testimony from, from the Bible is given down to us through generations. It, 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 it gives us a sense of faith, yes. you know, the saying that Jesus Christ is risen and Christ leads us into a sense of, of purposefulness and love. Mm -hmm. And that is, that's where we encounter truly really the risen Christ is the one who brings us to eternal life. May God give you peace and love always. God be with you. Goodbye. Thank you.